Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 40 with me Craig Barton. Now I am a big fan of quiz quiz trade activities. I first came across them uh, when I was doing a bit of work looking into Kagan and I must admit I'm not a huge fan of all the Kagan style of learning activities but quiz quiz trade is one that definitely appeals to me. And for those of you who've, uh, who've have not used it or not experienced it, it's, it's a very, very simple process. Basically, students are each given a question card and they walk around the room trying to find someone else with a similar level question card. And one student reads their question to the other student and they try and solve it. And then the other student reads their question to that student and they try and solve that. And if they both solve them successfully, they exchange cards. And there's the quiz, quiz, trade element. And then they walk around the classroom to find someone else to quiz, quiz and trade with, if that makes sense. And it's such a simple activity, but it's so powerful because I found that it really encourages students to talk positively about mathematics to each other and help each other out. And often it's the little conversations that the kids have trying to help each other out and, and check whether each, other, each other's answers are right, where the deepest learning actually takes place. And I found this a really powerful and effective way to stimulate those conversations and stimulate students talking to each other and learning from each other. So whenever I see a, a good quiz quiz trade activity on TES, I'm always keen to use it. And here is an absolutely outstanding one uploaded by Sandra D. And she's got some brilliant resources as well that are definitely worth checking out. So it's a PDF and it's a really professionally presented one this. I'm very, very impressed by this. Um, it gives you some lovely um, instructions about quiz quiz trade and this one's differentiated you've got red cards amber cards and green cards for the three different levels and there's your instructions um, and you feel free to adapt these however you like to, to suit the needs of your class and um, what's really nice about this is this as well and um, a quiz quiz trade starting point so sandra suggests popping these uh, questions on the board at the start letting the students have a go at them or perhaps giving them out as a worksheet and this will allow students to decide what level they want to start at, where they think their current level of learning is, obviously with red being easier than green. And then they get the uh, level of card or the colour of card corresponding to, to their um, solution to those three questions. So uh, the students who've chosen red, and that's the answer sheet, I'll come back to that in a sec. The students who've chosen red will get these cards, which are slightly easier, round into the nearest 10. And then as we scroll down, you'll see that we get um, some of the uh, amber cards, which are slightly more difficult, round to the nearest 100, up to the uh, green cards, which are a lot trickier, which are round to the nearest 1,000. And the students wander around, and for example, one, uh, and they wander around trying to find students who are at the same level to them. So one student may uh, wander up uh, to another student and say, right, I've got here 606 to the nearest 10. Uh, what do you think the answer to that is? And they might say, well, I think it's 710. And I might say, all right, okay, yeah, no, I agree with you, that's 710. And then they might challenge them to this one. Okay, well, to get my card, yeah, do you know what 2,145 is to the nearest 10? And they may say, well, I think that's 2,140. And they, the other student might say, well, I think that's 2,150. And a little argument or discussion may take place. And if they need to resolve that argument or discussion, then there's an answer sheet available here that I'd advise that the teacher keeps uh, for a quick bit of checking. And if there's ever a dispute, the two students could come and present their case. And if it's an interesting one, I found it quite nice to stop the whole class and have a bit of a class vote on it. And that works well. And the students continue with this, trading cards, talking to each other, trying to solve each other's uh, questions. And what you'll tend to find is the students who've started on red will pretty quickly want to trade up to amber because there's a bit of an incentive with this to, to uh, keep pushing yourself and challenging yourself. And likewise, trade up to green eventually. And that's absolutely fine. And there's plenty more green cards than the others. So it, it certainly lends itself to that. And that's it. But if it's something that you haven't tried before, a quiz quiz trade activity, I'd, I genuinely would recommend you try it. You'll find that it's not the quietest lesson you've ever done. And if anybody wanders in, they'll think chaos is going on. But if you just listen and kind of take, take a step back, you'll see that the kids really are engaged and talking to each other and learning from each other. And that's what mathematics uh, should all be about, in my opinion. So there it is, Quiz Quiz Trade, kindly uploaded by Sandra D. If you've used it or you've got another Quiz Quiz Trade or any comments like that, please share them I'm on the page at the, in the comments section at the bottom. And I shall return with a fresh, brand new resource of the week next week. Take care and bye for now.